If you guys have questions, use the raise hands function and we'll get to as many as we can. We'll start off with Dave Preston. Alia, congratulations on the win. Uh, Coach talked earlier about how uh, the, the momentum that you guys had uh, actually began on that last drive in the first half. It, it gave you guys a nice shot in the arm going into halftime where you, you guys were able to carry that over. If you could expand, I guess, on what went right on that last drive to get those points and the confidence that it gave you guys going into the locker room to where you were able to take control in the second half. Um. I think, uh, you know, we knew it was going to go two minute. And uh, I think we had two timeouts left. And, um, you know, we, we, were trying to, we were just trying to get whatever we could. You know, if we could score, that would be, that'd be great. But um, we know we have a good kicker in Petrino. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I think that whole drive, it was just everyone doing their job. Um, coach putting us in the best position. And, um, you know, there are some blitz pickups that our running backs and our, our O-line picked up very well or gave me a lot of time to throw the ball and um you know, we just, we just execute you had those two nice touchdown tosses to uh uh jones there or what was it was there a point today when you thought that that he might have it going on where uh he would have such a special day i think you know i, I think like that every day you know for all our any any receiver that's on the field and um you know they work so hard and um you know, I'm happy that, you know, Darryl got to um, experience scoring. You know, this is his first time um, scoring, um, and he scored twice. So um, I think that's a big confidence booster, you know, for our whole team, you know, just with this whole win, um, going into next season, and going into our off season and stuff like that. So Thanks and congratulations. Appreciate you. Thank you. Go to John Schwartz. <clears throat> Congratulations. Uh, Coach spoke a lot this past month about viewing this game as much of a beginning of 2022 as the end of 2021. To follow up a little bit on, on that before, to, to get the call from him to go out there to end the first half and take the ball and not just take a knee, but to really push down there. How much confidence does that give you to knowing that your coach wants you doing that kind of stuff to, to play with that kind of aggression? Um, yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence. You know, we know two minutes, it's, it's like seven on seven out there. You know, you're going to throw the ball. Um, depending on where you, you know, how much time you got left and timeouts, stuff like that, you get to run the ball. And um, I think that just comes down to, you know, preparation. I think, um, you know, throughout this whole time we had to prepare. Um, we had a lot of two-minute drills going on in practice. And um, I think that, you know, it, it just showed up right there. And, um, you know, it gives us a lot of confidence, us, the O-line, you know, receivers, running backs, and myself, you know, to just throw the rock around and, I feel like we have a lot of confidence in, in our pass game. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. But my mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. And why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. As well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jacklitz Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jacklitz Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. Hiring the Jacklitz Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, Listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Hey, Talia. Um, Mr. Cruz, what do you think the uh, winning record can do in the trajectory of a program and just in the time that you've been at Maryland? How have you seen the, the program improve in the rebuilding effort? Um. I just think it starts with our leader, you know, the head man, Coach Locks, the way he pushes us, the way he, uh, you know, the way he does things around, um, around the building. You know, he's, you know, he works hard. Um, a lot of sleepless nights, you know, for him, just trying to, you know, make sure everything is going good. Um, and I, yeah, I think that's just the biggest thing. And, um, you know, the famous four, four words he says, you know, the best is ahead. And I feel like that's what, um, you know, we showed out there. 
And, um, you know, we're only going to get stronger, bigger, faster. And, um, you know, we just feel like feel like a family. Let's go to Ryan McFadden. Hey, Talia, my question is for you. I think, um, you, like you said, the best is the best is ahead. Is yet is ahead. Uh, I think. What does it mean for you personally to kind of help uh, push this program forward to where they want to go? Um, I think it's a it's a great feeling, you know. Um, I mean, coming into this game, we knew what was at stake, and uh, we're just happy it didn't get canceled. And um, I think uh, it means a lot, you know. I feel like our Maryland family, our fans. I've been, you know, waiting a long time for us to have a, a winning season and make bowl games and win a lot of games and stuff like that. So um, I know it's hard to stay patient and stuff like that, but um, we feel like the best is ahead. Like I said, we're just we're just, we're just continuing to get better. And um, Coach talked about this being the start of our, our next season. And um, so I feel like we gave people, you know, something, something to see. Alexander Dacey? <clears throat> hey Talia, um, I know you you talked about Daryl a little bit earlier, but um, what is his leadership sort of you know brought to the team? And obviously, this you know probably being his last game, what is his leadership brought to the team? And kind of you know how good you know how good does it feel for you know for you to see him go off like he did? Um, man, it's it's a long time coming. Um, you know, since I got here, um, you know, when you see Daryl run routes, it just pops out to you, you know what I mean? Um, very fast, um, very quick in and out of his cuts. And he's just a hard worker. And I think that's just the way he leads, you know, not talking and just working more like, like a lot of our guys. And, um, you know, to see him have the day that he had today, um, it's just, you know, you know, I can't, can't do nothing but be very happy for him. Pretty sure his family was happy. And um, it's just the hard work that he uh, that he been putting in, you know, his whole time here. And um, you know, I, hopefully there's some way that we can continue that because um, I'm pretty sure that that's just a start for him. George Kevin. <clears throat> hey, Talia, congratulations on the win. Uh, you guys essentially had a, a mini camp worth of practices leading up to this bowl game. Did that help you? And you looked fresh out there, almost like it was a beginning of the season. I know Coach Loxley has said it's the beginning of the 2022 season. Did those practices help you guys get in rhythm and come out with the energy that you showed today? Oh, 100%. I think, uh, you know, we had player around practices and, um, you know, we were just doing a little seven on seven, you know, nothing too crazy. And then when Coach got back from recruiting and stuff, you know, it was, it was fall camp all over again. You know, getting back to the basics, you know, install one. Um, for me, you know, with Coach Enos is getting my feet right, two hands on the ball, um, you know, the basic stuff. And um, I think the way we responded to it was, was great. And um, I, think that, I think that really did help us, you know, getting back to the basics because um, it's something that you don't really get to, um, you know, focus on when you're in the season because it's more about, you know, schemes and, and uh, watching film and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, it was good. It was a good thing for us to go back to fall camp. Time for two more, <clears throat> um, We'll go to Jacob Richmond. Hey, Talia, thanks so much for speaking with us. Um, so what was it like for you and the rest of the offense to see uh, the other phases of the team performing at such a high level, especially come such a big game, getting to see like Turkey return that punt, and how difficult the defense was making it for Virginia Tech's offense. What was that like for you guys? He's going. He's 40 to the 35 to the 25 to the 20 to the 10 to the 5 touchdowns. Target Hill on the big screen. Petrino lines up for the extra point. Boy, he was gone. And that's what happens, Mason, when you lose so many players. It was exciting. I think I almost got penalized the second time uh, G. Rose scored. And, um, you know, it was just exciting for us to see, you know, with Heaps kick return or punt return and you know, our defense getting in. It's just a great feeling, you know, when our whole team really dominates the, the game. You know, we scored on all phases of the ball. And um, it's just the, the hard work, you know. I know we see what goes on in practice and 
you know, who's working hard and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just great to see our defense get on in and our special teams as well. So, for our last one, we'll go to back to Gary. <clears throat> hey, Talia, just uh, what does a performance like this do for you personally going into next season? And uh, do you feel like you proved anything today? Um, I think um. Obviously, you know, it gives, gives us a lot of confidence um, going into the off season and going into next season. And um, for me and myself, I think I'm, um, you know, it was, it was good playing against, you know, ACC team. And, um, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm just, I'm just ready going, going into, uh, you know, spring ball and off season training with confidence. And um, I think it's more so just our team, you know, kind of building off of this I'm going into our, our next season. So all right. Thank you, Talia. Sorry thank that you. I cannot get to everyone's question, but our bus is about to leave. So uh thank you everyone for your coverage this season and um safe